and be after the this one, which is a race car. And I know what you're thinking. Matt, it's a race car. How can you improve it? No fucking clue. You gotta try it anyway. <laughs> I mean, this is uh, Tanner Faust's Beetle that he's gonna race in the Global Rallycross Series. I believe him and Scott Speed are both driving them for Rockstar this year. And, uh, yeah. Um, it's a Beetle. It's um, I didn't read the stats. I'll read them when I get down there. It has like 544 horsepower. Or whatever. The, I think that's what the internet said. But the, that and this differ. Uh, it has a turbocharged inline four. I'm topping out at 151. Yeah. I mean... It looks like a Porsche. It looks like it's just like a really fat. It looks like it's Porsche's ugly cousin. Like, it's just, it, this inside isn't glorious at all. There's two things telling me what gear I'm in. That's pretty stupid. Um, yeah, the blinky things. Blue, red, green. There's the RPM gauge. There's no speedometer in here. Um, you know, I guess you really don't need to know how fast you're going. Because it's, you know, not going to go very fast at all. You just need acceleration. Um, this thing is an S2. I don't know what I can do to this. It's an S2, it's in Modern Rally, so it's competing with the lights of the uh, Subarus. It's kind of weird, but, you know. Uh, when I saw this, I, my reaction was just, what? Really? Just... I... How's it going? I don't what know. I, I was expecting this to be... It's a beetle. <laughs> I mean... I don't know how All much right. else so to say about this. It's worth, it's worth a lot. It has 536 horsepower, making 387 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, 2668 uh, pounds. Um, 0.55. Uh, or not 0.55, 55% weight distribution. Um, yeah, let's, uh, see what I can do, I guess. Can change the drivetrain, that's it. Not gonna do that. Tires and rims. Rally, nope, can't do anything there. Just gonna make this bigger. Make these bigger. And then we're going to put some weird-ass rims on it. Um. And it's not because I want this to look stylish. It's because it adds weight. And that lowers the PI in which I have to work with. Which makes Matt a happy person. Unless, of course. Or, we're gonna have, have lighter... Lighter rims... To make... To make it top out in this class, because that's how I do. And I like those rims, personally. When I'm not when I don't have to tune cars. But, yeah, here goes this. <laughs> Not much you can do to a Beetle. Um, Arrow? I I have Arrow. We're gonna have Grip. This is way too high. I can get a lot of horsepower. Or, a lot of... 
miles per hour out of this. Well, not a lot, but, you know, more than I could. Uh, I tuned up this Super Stadium truck, which is pretty damn close to this, I guess, in terms of wetness. And, um, it's better. I can tell you that. I enjoy it much more now, because it's like... It can top out at like 170 instead of like... 115, which it was. And, actually, I think that is the top speed of its stock. It just had so much potential. <laughs> and, but... Back to the Beetle. This is going faster. It's going up by 1.3 each time. Actually, that one had went up 1.4, but... I like this. Keep going up. For an S2, it should be going like 200... Uh... You know, like 214, 215. Um. Yeah. To be honest, the first thing I knew that, that was wrong with this car is the fact that its gears were so high set for just rally cross. And really, you don't really need that on Forza. That's probably the worst thing you could have, unless you're driving this on Storm Island. Which, I don't plan on it. Unless I really, absolutely have to. But. Uh, who, who knows? I don't. We're almost to the 200s. And I, honestly, I don't want to say this because I know I'm probably going to be wrong here. But I feel like this Beetle is actually going to be kind of good. Because it's already race ready. I just have to adjust some the, everything. I mean, yeah, it's got... It's like going to be like the Subaru or... It might compete with a Veneno. Might. <laughs> and considering it's still going up, and I've still going up a substantial amount, this thing is insane. Actually, I think it's stopped. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to drive this now. That seems as though it's topped out. Yeah, let's get rid of that. That's a lot of oversteer. <laughs> or understeer waiting to happen. I mean, considering the, the bag is higher, you really don't want that. It's bad. <laughs> Uh, springs are soft. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do with these. This is the part that I run into with most of these type of vehicles. Like, the Rally Fighter, the Dodge, pretty much every extreme off-road vehicle, which this should be, but it's a modern rally. Um, it's just not... So, 8.62. These are really soft. And...
I don't know how low these die. Not even gonna deal with that yet. Four point four. See, I almost get excited when I have to do things like this, but then when I see the speed, and then I get to these, and it's just like. These are really soft. These are not particularly the best cars you want. Don't have high hopes for this. I did, but now I don't. Alright, so like 1.2 should be good. Point three. Cornering, it does have arrow. That makes me happy. As long as it's got arrow. Because I need to be able to turn. And that's... That's what I'm going to be able to do with this. I'm going to be able to turn. And differential. I'm... Yeah. Up, oh, shit. Go back down. Alright. I'm almost done with this. All I need to do now is do the stupid springs, which... Wait, no. There we go. And holy shit, that thing is slammed. Bumps are not going to be my friend. Damn it. Uh, uh, yeah, let's... Yeah, let's, uh... 26666. I can do that one. Alright, so, let's see, let's go to the springs, this is going to take a while because, you know, need to go all the way to the 700s. Alright, so, and then, alright, so, let's go back to this, minus, ah, actually, that's the wrong number, um, Alright, so, now that I got this actually done, well, almost, I need to get the... I'm up too high, come back down. Springs, you take forever because you're so damn high. Okay, let's take this on a cruise back to the other shop. Because... God, this is going to be scary. Alright. Let's go. Come on. Back out. Loading screen. Oh, it's raining again. Oh, holy hell. Yeah, that acceleration is still there. Which is really weird. Six gear is going to be really long. 
Huh. Okay. Um. This car feels different. Like, I know it should be slow, but it's not. It's topping out like 204. This guy can... It's definitely got acceleration. Um. God, I hope the other bug turns out like this. This is going to be fun. Alright, so I'm going to take this on a trip around... I track once I get over to the other hub because, you know, starting points. Oh, jeez. Fucking Yaris's. Man, I am great at drifting. So pro. Actually, I killed it. I'm killing the bug. It's very slidey. Pull the e-brake and have fun. Yeah, I should... I didn't even notice I was in... Wait, I shouldn't even be in there. Alright, time to go test it. Um... Now, S2. I don't know where I'm at in S2. Um, we shall see. I think I'm in, like, the 200s, maybe. Wrong. I'm 147. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this should be fun. The thing is, I know what the Aventador can do, because that one's, like, top-end speed. But this one isn't. This one's just pure acceleration. I don't know. It's like... It... I really don't... Oh, God. This is the fat world's fastest beetle. I'm kidding. There's probably somebody that's made a better one. I don't know. If it runs less than a, than a one, I'll be happy. Which... Honestly, looks like it'll do already. But how much? Okay, let's not do that. I don't... There's... There are things about this... Wow. I... I don't have risk. Thank you. But, still. Uh, there are certain things about this car that I like and that I don't like. One is the fact that I'm driving a Beetle. I feel weird. Like, Beetles shouldn't be able to do this. But, then again... What am I to say? Oh god damn it. And I'm I really want to see what Tanner Faust and Scott Speed, who I believe is his partner still, on Yeah, their team. I honestly want to see what they can do in one of these. Another thing about Tanner Fellas, which is, I think is fucking hilarious. He's decided to go back to Formula Drift, which he 
was originally in. And I think he quit in like 2009 or something. And he's doing it in a 900 horsepower rear wheel drive Volkswagen Passat. Which uh, is ridiculous. One, it's a Passat, one of the most boring cars out there. I mean, next thing you know, fucking uh, Honda's gonna come back at him with a fucking Accord. Which... I really hope to not see. This thing's got acceleration. Top end speed? Not so much. I mean... I know how fast... I know how fast that thing can go. It's... That car's more of top end speed than anything. Which I'm not. I'm purely purely acceleration. And I'm still right on it. But once it gets to that Yeah, I don't think this one's gonna do it. Or at least... I don't know, it's a beetle and it's weird and... I, I don't... Yeah, I don't know what to think about this car. I really don't. Words escape me. And it's not going to be the last time, I can tell you that, because the next car after this is just completely stupid. Like, it literally looks... <sighs> Why a Beetle? Okay. Golf? Polo? I can understand that. I, that is understandable. Those are sporty-ish. But a Beetle? Why? It's just not. It's not natural. Because normally, like, when I see a beetle out on the road, I punch my friend because, you know, punch bug, you know, punch bugs. This. This is. This is an extreme car. It, And I don't know. I just don't know. Perfect. Okay. Well, that one's done. Um. Now on to the next one. Uh. Yeah, that is a very low beetle. Like, that is like inches from the ground. Hey, I got a new wheel spin. Cool. 